So this upcoming week is the first week of 2022, and there are some big expectations all around for everything in COD. So what can you look forward to this week? That's what we're taking a look at in this video. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. In regards to this week across Vanguard, Warzone, perhaps Cold War and Modern Warfare, what are you hoping to see in particular? Drop your thoughts down below, but if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, Warzone, and with it now 2022, later on in the year, likely things like Modern Warfare 2. If you're part of that nearly 70% of viewers that are not subscribed and you're interested in joining us on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you. That said, let's talk about the week ahead, what's on deck, and what we should be seeing. Firstly, I want to start out with the guarantees, the things that we know will be happening here, then talk a little bit about the maybe hopefuls, the things that we can possibly see but are not quite guaranteed as of right now, Sunday, January 2nd. Now, that said, starting out with the guarantees here, the festive fervor event that we've seen the last week and a half or so, that's going to be coming to a close. One of the biggest things that you'll see across Vanguard and Warzone is the removal of that, so the holiday event, all things will be going back to normal, but what's kind of odd with this in particular is the timer is actually shortened by 12 hours, so instead of it ending at 9 p.m. Pacific time, finishing on the 4th, going into the final moments of the day before it turns into the 5th, it's now what I would imagine is corrected to be 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. in the UK, which is kind of standard for the events that we see when they come to a close. That's when our playlists go live, our double XP events, and things like that all start and also conclude. 10 a.m. on whatever given day they end up starting and going to. However, what this means is that if you haven't completed the Vanguard or Warzone specific challenge streams for the limited time blueprint of the old timey Type 11, you want to get on that. It's not going to be around for a whole lot longer, and if there's one thing the last two years has taught us in terms of these specific rewards is once it's gone, it's pretty much gone. Save for a few reintroductions via Blueprint Blitz and Contraband Contracts in Warzone, all of the previously limited time blueprints have never popped up again. So if you're at all interested in the build of the weapon or you just like collecting stuff, make sure you end up taking advantage of that. And a sort of reminder, you have to complete six Vanguard challenges or six Warzone challenges. Unfortunately, you can't mix and match those. But what's also being removed is some of those things you may have been accustomed to in game likely. On the Vanguard side of things, we're likely going to see traditional shipment back in the regular rotation with shipments probably going away for good or at least until next year and the holiday festivities probably reignite. To me, that's fine. Shipmas was nice at the beginning, but hardcore Shipmas where I've been playing it, man, it turned into a literal hellscape. If you've played it, you probably recognize the abundance of incendiary grenade spam, which it quite literally would crash half my games because the server was just like, nah, we got too much going on here, can't do this. To which, side note, I don't know if it's still battle passes or what, but I don't think I've hated something in-game as much as the incendiary grenades in a long time. It's baffling to me that those things even made it live, but... That's a different story for a different day. Don't want to open up Pandora's box. Shipment, though, back on track, likely going to be replaced here with traditional shipment, and I'm all for that. Back to your regular camo grinding. Probably see something like DOS House introduced with shipment, if not one of those two being the 24-7 playlist coming up later this week, but we'll talk about that in a second. You're also likely going to see the lights in the background of the menu go away, and we'll see the return to normal in that ambient decor. Things like your dogs no longer in holiday outfits, the Santa and the reindeer as the care package plane being reverted back to normal. Besides the linking items, the only thing that I can think of in sort of an event specific thing is the shot bundles which i don't think actually have any limited time markers on them so those might actually be staying i wish that was a bit clearer since even though right now i don't want to buy or support anything in the shop the say hello highlight intro of the santa sleigh bundle is the funniest thing in the world to me the little elf doing finger guns going pew pew, pew. i don't know what it is but i crack up every time anyways on the war zone side of things the christmas trees will be going away so that means that the free loot cash and of course the target on your back that krampus puts for just opening up a single supply box that's gonna be going away as well i enjoy the recon nature of this the utility it afforded you but i'm insanely happy that krampus is going away and speaking of such krampus and the elves probably the two biggest parts here in game out of the festive fervor events both of those are going away as well so you can rest easy across warzone and vanguard you won't have the devilish little cackle and laugh in your ear at every direction and krampus won't be there to rip you to shreds for just existing krampus in particular didn't quite mind the elves but krampus man good riddance to that guy Seemed like it was every engagement I took, he was there trying to grief it. Outside of that, one thing that is surprisingly still here and you should take advantage of, we don't know if it's going to be going away as of tomorrow or Tuesday with the ending of the event, but the Quintuple XP event is actually still going on right now within Vanguard and that triple-double within Warzone as well. This was listed only up until the 30th of December, right before New Year's, but it's still going on. It is still actually applying these bonuses, so if you have anything you need to rank up, whether that be your over 
overall rank for the season, whether that be your weapon, XP, and things like that. Make sure you take advantage of that because it is still around for just a limited time, but more so than what we expected beforehand. So a nice little bonus, but take advantage of that before it does go away. And finally, of the guaranteed things, we finally have a Vanguard playlist update coming at some point. I would imagine on Tuesday here, with the Festive Fervor event going away, we end up seeing that happen as well. But, I mean, we've had the Krampus, the Armageddon, the Ship Miss 24-7, the Big Map Blitz. That's been there since the start of the event. So it has been longer than a week that we normally see. And oftentimes we end up seeing some of these playlists even change out after three to four days. So having it for 10 to 14 days has been something that's been, well, kind of fatiguing. I wish that we'd have something like a DOS house or a shipment 24 seven that isn't shipments because it seems like that is just incendiary spam galore. But we'll see some of these finally change out as well this week once everybody's back in office. But. That then leads me to the possible but not guaranteed items here of this week, and there's a lot of big question marks in that regard. Because everybody is starting to get back into the swing of things here, employees are starting to get back into office working from home in the full capacity. That begs the question on if we finally have some of these big things we're looking forward to actually happen this week. The holiday break here, the last 10 to 14 days again, has been something that's kind of thrown a wrench into everything that we may expect, and especially when it comes to getting things like fixes done. But before that, I'm hoping for a blog post. That's kind of the reason we're doing this today instead of tomorrow on the normal Mondays. We do these week at a glance type videos as the hopeful optimism that tomorrow we may see something revealed. We're right around that time when we can start expecting another content update and some additions to both mainline games, but we just don't know. And I have to say, I'm honestly quite disappointed with the communication on all fronts from everything in Call of Duty this year so far. From content rollout, distribution, and reveals, but also things that are like just really important to be acknowledged. There's still so many problems that have been yet to be addressed, logged, or acknowledged on any public platform. So while in a perfect world we end up seeing a blog post, a roadmap detailing the mid-season update coming hopefully this week as well, I'm at least just hoping for something. And I'd even be cool with if we got an announcement saying, hey, we're all getting back into the office, we're fixing A, B, C, and D. Even if it's just something minimal like that, I'm hoping for some communication. But I think probably what's one of the biggest things that people are hopeful for is some fixes on the way for both Vanguard and Warzone. It's no surprise that since the Season 1 launch, there has been a plethora of different issues across both of those mainline titles, each having their own respective problems, and of course, we've talked about them here on the channel before. Right now, there still are things listed on the Trello board that could point to some of these things coming, but it really all comes down to when we end up seeing the update, if we see one this week to fix this stuff now that things are getting back to normal, employees are back in office, they're able to work on the game again outside of that holiday break that they've been on. A couple of big ones that I'm really hoping for is to see some of the camo challenges adjusted as well, finally allowing people to unlock the STG gold camo if they ended up ranking up the weapon in Warzone. I'm hoping to see some of the changes made to the Panzerfaust so that the long shots track properly and also so we could end up actually getting gold and diamond launchers at that point if they end up changing or actually making it trackable so that three kill streaks in one game actually does reward progress. Hopefully, though, since we saw a change to the aerial kill streaks, I would like to see maybe like double or triple kills with the Panzerfaust instead of the three streaks in one game, make that a little bit more obtainable. But fingers crossed, we end up seeing a bunch of fixes on the way for a number of different things across Warzone and Vanguard. This week does have some high probability that we could end up seeing it, and some of these bigger things in terms of game fixing things likely won't have to conform to any sort of schedule if there is going to be a major title update for new content. It could be something that comes out even before then. So if we have, say, the mid-season update on Tuesday or Thursday, maybe we end up getting an update that starts to fix things as of tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll have to wait and see how that all breaks down. But finally, the last thing I want to leave you with today is that of the possibility of the mid-season update happening as of this week. As of the 4th, that actually is the midpoint here of Season 1. We end up seeing that the Battle Pass timer counts down to a start time for February 1st of Season 2. Whether or not that gets extended, delayed, whatever, we don't quite have any information on that just yet. So right now, the tentative date is February 1st. So being that we are now at that midpoint coming up in this week, 
it is likely that we could see some new content coming. Right now, we know of out of the season one roadmap, we have Isabella as an operator coming as a paid operator. So I'm not really too focused on that one. You have the new Wellgun SMG. That's one that I'm very much so looking forward to. You have new zombie stuff. You have some bundles and everything. But outside of that, we don't really have a whole ton of information as to what a mid-season update would hold. My hope is we end up seeing another multiplayer map, one at least, maybe some other surprises and new event, perhaps. One definitely to keep your eye on is that Attack on Titan crossover that's been rumored for quite some time that we saw it leaked out from one of the bundles within the COD shop. But it is something that the Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2 starts, I think it's what, actually as of next week, seven days from today. So that could be something that we end up seeing this week start to kick off. That crossover event actually happen with the midseason event if it does happen. But we'll have to wait and see how that all breaks down. But this week does hold a lot of question marks where it has the potential to be either a huge week for Call of Duty players across Vanguard and Warzone, or it could have the possibility to be a bust. It really just comes down to what ends up happening, but that's what you should be aware of. That's what you should look out for this week within Vanguard, Warzone, and maybe even Modern Warfare and Cold War. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What are you guys looking forward to? Anything in particular you hope to see out of this week? Anything that you think may happen that we didn't quite mention? Whatever the case, drive your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Vanguard, anything COD related. Again, we're in a 2022, so possible we could see some Modern Warfare 2 content coming up here very soon. But that said, all in all, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.